Hey guys, it's Staraptor here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the video game that I played the most in 2021. I played well over a dozen games. A lot of games came out this year. Some games came out a couple years ago, and this is going to be one of those games. This game is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and you guys, well, you probably know that this game is literally full of missions and full of content and I started this game back in like the first week of January and it took me well into April four months later to complete this game to my liking and I didn't even 100% I didn't even do every single quest in this game but I feel like this game is the pinnacle of Assassin's Creed right hey is this the best Assassin's like game out of Assassin's Creed no but if you're looking at, you know, how Assassin's Creed started out in that very first game and how it evolved over several mainline games, I feel like this is almost like that culmination where they've gotten all the lessons they've learned on previous games and they've opened up the world and they allow you to choose the character. I chose Cassandra and this is set during the Greek times, the golden age of the Greeks and all this awesome content that is awaiting you to go and explore. And this is probably one of the biggest open worlds I have ever played through. And it's beautiful, the Adriatic Sea and all the mythology that is weaved in there, the kind of stuff that it does that no other Assassin's Creed does. This reminds me much of like a Dragon Age or a Mass Effect or any kind of like Bioware Western RPG because you have dialogue trees your decisions affect you know quest ahead of the time like which are wild hunt right so for instance like you if you save these people they'll come back and help you out later on if you don't they're gonna basically tear you a new one when they come across you again so there's a lot of those like calls and effects which are huge with rpgs and of course you get all different weapons and upgrades and there's this cool mercenary system and all these animals, sharks, and everything trying to get you. And it's just a really well done open world. Yes, there's lots and lots of question marks on the map. And it can be very, very overwhelming. But for me, it was just a really nice relaxing game for like a quarter of the year. Where I was like, I would come home from work or something. Maybe spend like 30 minutes to an hour. And, you know, extrapolate that more. Some days I played several hours. Some days barely any time at all. But it was a nice kind of comforting RPG to get, get into. And, and, you know, it's really neat because it's based off of history, sort of very loosely, very loosely at that point. But it is nice to see, like, that world of, you know, every time you jump into an Assassin's Creed game, right, the previous one was in Egypt. Uh, another one was, you know, set during the Revolutionary War. And I've played every Assassin's Creed mainline game up until this point. I haven't played Valhalla yet, but you better believe that I'll be playing that in 2022 at some point. I already have the game. I just got to jump into it. But, you know, when I tackle these large open world single player games, I try to get through them specifically um, right through those. You know, I do not try to jump to other games. I like to kind of focus on that game and get through as much as I can. And I feel like I really got my you know teeth sunk into this game because it was just something that I was just so routine for me to come back to over and over and over again. There's a lot of that carrot on the stick kind of a uh, mentality and me mechanism in the game where you're going to keep coming back for more. You're going to keep trying to, hey, can I take out this boss and, and, and this and that? And there's a lot of difficulty, right? You could try to go someplace too fast, too quickly, and you're going to get owned, right? you got to level up a little bit. And that's, you know, where this uh, very addictive nature of this game really comes into play but yes i played well over 100 hours of this game and i could have even spent several more because apparently there's many expansions and you know i just didn't feel like paying for any of those because i have to eventually move on to another game right so i, I played through that main story and i was very happy with what i played through and it's definitely like i said i really feel like this is the strongest assassin's creed game now that is a very blanket statement as i said you know maybe not the best assassins assassins creed game but as far as opening another world and experiencing just this vastness and, and the richness of of this culture of the greek culture from way back in you know the 400 bcs and whatever the heck it was so there you go. My most played game of 2021 was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 
What was your most played game in 2021? I'm very curious to find out. Let me know in the comment section down below for more on gaming. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and do support the channel simply by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification icon, and do make sure you hit that like button so it helps my videos appear in your feeds a little bit sooner. That's going to do it for me, Starper. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.